Good morning, guys. So I'll just give it a minute. I'll fix my hair a little bit. Hope you guys are doing good today. Um, I actually get excited about these coaching calls now. Um, I used to get just so nervous when I first started doing lives. It was like I just wanted to not cry during it. <laughs> now it's now I get excited, especially when it's just our, our uh, membership group. Um, it's kind of fun. So I kind of feel like it's sitting around having coffee, chatting with you guys, even though a lot of you don't um, are busy when, when I'm doing the live and aren't able to see it till the recording, but it still kind of feels that way. So the sun's shining today so far. I got out for a morning walk. Um, that's something that I used to love and I want to get back to, like even in the winter, actually in the winter even more so. I love getting out for a um, like a sunrise walk. So right now, um, I think it was around 7.30, um, I got out there for, it was like a 20, 30 minute walk and I just bundle up, so nice. So like if you find in the winter, you just kind of like are in a funk, um, there's that seasonal, seasonal uh, sad, seasonal affective disorder. Um, if you notice any degree of that in the winter where you just, it might be um, as far as feeling really depressed or it could be as little as just like not having that like energy and excitement in your day anymore. Um, that's something that I find that getting out, especially when the sun's rising, you get that, that there's a certain light spectrum when the sun's just coming up. Um, and there's, I haven't really dove into the research, but I do know that um, it's not just getting that sun on your skin, which in the winter, you're not, um, you're like, I am so bundled up. I have pretty much just this much, um, you can see. It's actually that sunlight hitting your, those rays hitting your eyes and it, causes different hormones and things like that so that uh, is huge that's partly why I love getting out um, and I get so energized by it that fresh air you know we're cooped up so much in the winter um, so yeah that was I love that today and it's also um, if you guys have heard of meditation I'm gonna be talking a little bit about I'm not gonna get too woo-woo but I'm gonna talk about a few little different things um, meditation I struggle with that but going for a walk Usually I put a podcast on just having that time to like quiet down, not stuck in the busyness of the day um, helps me so much. Like we need that. If you don't have that in your day at a point in your day where it's just um, you don't have all these different things coming at you. It's so important. So even that can be like meditative. Um, so usually I, I have some ideas come to my head, um, just have time to like chill out a little bit. So anyways, that's not really what, what uh, today is about um, so I'll talk about what we're gonna be talking about today um, if anybody I don't think I see anybody on here yet if you come on um, say hi so I know that you're there sometimes I, it's always different sometimes I can see people are on sometimes it shows who's on sometimes it doesn't anyways um, so today I'm gonna talk about today's giveaway so these are always fun um, I love winning things so I assumed you guys do too so that's why I love doing this um, is part of the membership, the monthly, uh, once a month we're gonna do a giveaway. We've been doing that, I think we've done about three so far. Um, this month I'm a little bit behind, usually it's the first week um, with the cleanse and everything in there. Uh, so we've got, and I wanna give different options too. So there's gonna be one winner and you don't have to enter, I just um, put all the names in, I think it's randomname.org and put all the names of people that are currently in the membership. Um, and then I draw from there. So, so I've got three choices this time. Um, if you saw in the Facebook pictures, I showed pictures. So this is kind of like a, a little basket of snack and sample items. Um, these are so good. So I actually won a big box of these. Um, so these are a couple of my favorites. What is that? Guacamole, really clean ingredients. They taste like chips. Um, some different samples. This is for like gut health. Um, this is, I've got a friend that does Plexus. These are really good for cravings. Um, a PMS relief snack bar. So that's one prize you can choose. Um, this is another. This, I just did a webinar on, um, about chromium. And I've um, done research before and know its effectiveness with, if you really struggle with sugar cravings, if you're wanting to um, get past that. There's some other benefits. This is the main one that I like and would find that most people would use. So if you say you have huge sugar cravings every evening, maybe right after supper or something, if you take this, um, it helps with those sugar cravings. It also helps with your insulin 
as well. So a lot of us have insulin issues. So there's that. Um, so I would say go with that one only if you um, are really having issues with sugar cravings. Otherwise, it's not one of my top supplements that everybody needs to take. Um, and then this, of course, I talk a lot about Samara. This one's a kids and teens formula. So I, you can use this yourself um, or for your kids or for all of you in smoothies, stir it into stuff. So this, I'm actually on the advis advisory board for Samara. Um, I'm not paid to be on there, it's just because I love it and um, helping out the company. And in return, they send me samples, or not samples, full-size products, so I get to share that with you guys. So I'll draw at the end, actually I've already drawn the name, um, so I'll share that at the end of the call. Um, so we might, I might take my time a little bit um, with this call today sometimes to try to rush through it. We'll see how it goes, but um, I want to, I'll keep it under an hour, but um, if you're busy, you know, most moms are busy, put this on while you're cooking um, supper or even listen to it while you're driving. Don't watch it, of course, but um, fit it into your day however you can. And also, I've got some, our focus I'm pretty excited about and I can talk, I can talk and talk and talk about it. So um, I'm gonna come on, I'm gonna do it in sort of um, spurts and I think I will post a video or come live uh, probably like once a week or I'll, um, throughout the next few weeks. So we're starting a little bit late. So this will run a little bit into December this focus and also um, Along uh, in in there. I'm going to be posting um, uh, I've got a an ebook on my holiday favorites that are dairy-free gluten-free a um, little bit healthier like lots of treats um, So that especially in the you still want to be festive you still want to enjoy some some holiday treats in the in the weeks leading up to Christmas, um, I'll give you some different ideas on that. And like a vegan, um, so dairy-free eggnog is something that I like. I haven't made it yet this year, but that's something that I like to have. So if you're having those movie nights, you just want to treat yourself or even just an afternoon something. So watch for that as well. So that'll be sort of our December. We're not going to necessarily have a December challenge or focus, but I'm just going to be sharing lots of different tips um, along with your weekly meal plans, different tips on how to like different recipes and different tips on how to eat clean and not kind of go crazy um, in December. So, um, okay. So we're gonna, do, I mentioned the giveaway. Um, I'm gonna answer some Q and A. So I've got had some questions come in the last couple weeks. If you have a question, anytime you have a question come up, feel free to email me or post it in the group, um, but, or even in the comments below, or even ask me live. So uh, in the future too, if you have questions, come on live, grab your coffee, and we can chat and I can answer it live as well. Um, so I've got a few questions. Then I'm gonna talk a little bit about our new focus that I just mentioned a bit. Um, and with our focuses, you'll notice if you go to the membership um, page, go to monthly focuses. Um, do If you're overwhelmed right now, don't worry about adding in a focus. Some of these can really help, especially this one. If you're feeling overwhelmed, this month is going to be really helpful. Um, pick and choose what, what you want to do. Make this membership work for you. So um, some people, when they're just starting out, they want to look at um, the detox your home um, one is a nice one too, or depending on the time of year too. I find I, I like to look at that one in the spring and really focus on my, you know, detox your home. And what I mean by that is just clean up, like clean up your cleaning products. Get rid of all the the um, junk with all the toxins and and the air fresheners that are, that are causing hormone disruption and just not good for you. Um, so yeah, have a look at that. There's right now, I think there's 12 different ones. There also is, if you are um, gonna be going on a holiday or if you have a wedding coming up, you wanna lose a few pounds, we've got like the 21 day transformation program. We've got the meal prep program, which is a nice one too if you've got a busy weekdays, like if, you, if your kids are in lots of sports and you have your Sundays are free and you wanna pretty much get everything um, prepared for your week, that's a nice one. So most of the time I don't really do a whole lot of prep. I'll, I like to do a little bit on Sundays, but sometimes that is, it's so rewarding too. You spend three hours on a Sunday and you have pretty much all your meals and snacks set. So that's kind of neat. So yeah, have a look at that and uh, make this membership uh, work for you. Do do what you're feeling. So if this, if this focus that I'm gonna be talking about um, is not gonna work for you right now, and I'll talk more about that soon, um, then pick something else or just focus on the, the meal plans or take little bits of it of this month's focus and make that work for you. 
um, I'm going to talk about our special offer that we have on right now that's going to end um, and I'm going to be sharing this with with um, the entire Mummer Charge community um, close to Black Friday so it's going to it's a huge Black Friday sale you guys um, get this information now some of you um, will have received an email often emails go to um, junk mail um, so if you haven't received that email check your junk mail um, I've sent it so far to anybody who joined during the cleanse just before the cleanse um, and maybe a, a few others um, if your subscription your first month is coming up soon I sent you that email with when your subscription just a, excuse me a reminder when that, that when that's coming up um, and also um, how you can save money and the bonuses in there as well so um, have a look at that because probably a lot have gone to, to junk mail so I don't want you to miss that so I'll mention a little bit more about that at the end um, okay let's dive first into some Q&A's actually first I'm gonna mention uh, yeah so um, this probably relates to a lot of you guys so there's one member Danielle she actually just just discovered she's just gone I hope she doesn't mind me um, talking about this this is just within the membership community she just discovered that um, dairy is an issue for her so a lot of you some of you have already discovered this especially if you've been in the method program um, you would have discovered if certain foods are issues for you some of you aren't sure um, some of you know maybe that gluten you've cut out gluten you know that doesn't work for you I notice a lot of people really notice dairy um, and that's often the first thing that people notice so sometimes that is digestive things sometimes that is itchy skin uh, sometimes that's acne for me if I have some dairy now I get just crazy breakouts um, and then they're probably usually it'll be a little bit of tiredness like that's just what's showing up so um, anyways uh, that's awesome that that uh, she's noticed that made that connection that's part of this journey for a lot of you um, the main focus with mama recharged is that I've seen so many people and my myself personally this is my story is that cutting out those things that I my body reacts to that I'm intolerant to um, has made a massive change in my life so um, so I'm gonna use Diane or not Diane Danielle as an example um, because she just recently mentioned this but um, so you'll notice if you notice something right away um, that you react to it you'll notice those symptoms give it keep going with it give it time you'll probably notice different things often sometimes things resolve like you'll notice if somebody cuts out gluten they notice within a week like wow I feel so amazing sometimes it takes it takes time because it's your body is just kind of naturally um, calming down then it can sort of like naturally it doesn't have that inflammation so it can naturally work to heal itself a little bit um, sometimes you have to add in extra stuff but often just cleaning up your diet cutting out those things that your your body's reacting to um, can make a huge difference so keep at it um, the first when you first cut stuff out uh, I talk about this a lot in the method our method program uh, we're running in January again um, that you so when you first cut it out you are craving it often um, uh, I, I explain it better in the in the program but often those um, it's almost like an addiction so you crave it more right away when you cut it out and then after if you keep going with it a week or two later like I I used to love cheese I don't care if I have cheese you know somebody could be eating cheese in front of me um, or a pizza and I don't really care so um, keep at it and it gets a lot easier and you also discover all different new go-to recipes um, that you love so it takes a little bit of time that first little bit is hard um, but gets easier and also um, often a lot of people do sort of a transition they'll start with dairy or they'll start with gluten um, get used to that for a little while and focus on cutting that out 100% um, if you react to it even just like um, a bite of bread or for dairy a bite of cheese um, can cause uh, a reaction for for a few days or weeks so you want to cut it out 100% um, but yeah gets easier this the membership really helps um, so actually while I'm talking about it I've been mentioning the method a little bit I am adding in um, our four-week program the mummer charge method to our yearly subscribers so that is um, that's part of our special offer that's right now going on right now so our mummer charge method regular price is 197 um, it goes on sale a little bit uh, before we run the program 
but um, so our yearly subscription to the membership, which with a with the weekly meal plans and everything else in the membership, um, the yearly subscription is $120. So I am adding the method in there and I haven't increased the price yet. So I wanted to do this sort of as a, a special offer for you guys. If you are thinking um, you want to be in the method, a few of you are already in the method. Um, those of you who aren't already in the method, if you want to try it out, um, it's great to help you discover what your food intolerances are. We dive deep into a lot of different focuses each week. Um, we dive into blood sugar balancing, um, gut bacteria, gut issues, um, different lifestyle things. Uh, I'm missing another one, but um, it's it's generally it was kind of the basis of the membership. A lot of people would start that. That's a good starting point, and then you continue on the with, with the membership. So. Um, with all that said, I just wanted to say that it's a really good deal if you're thinking you want to discover, um, dive into it a little bit more, see what um, foods are bothering you, dive into your health a little bit further, um, and you want to continue with the membership, then jump on that um, special. So $120, you get the um, method, you get the cleanse, you get the membership. So I didn't mean for this to be sort of like a whole sales spiel, but I just wanted to mention that that um, is pretty big right now. Um, if you are continuing on, you can save money. Um, so it's it's only available. The method um, is just going to be added in there for the yearly subscribers. So anyways, I didn't want to talk too much about that, but since I was mentioning the method a little bit. So now we'll go to some Q&As that, um, that people have recently asked. Um, so one I is, it was an email question. Um, some very common questions. Um, maybe you already know the answers to this. Maybe you don't. I remember when I first started out asking questions like this. Um, so she had asked about cooking oil. Um, so my computer's frozen up a little bit. So um, what she had asked about cooking oil was, um, so that she used to use like vegetable oil. A lot of recipes call for vegetable oil, um, but she's heard that's not good. So what do you use instead? Um, let's see if I can find her exact question. Uh, when a recipe calls for cooking with oil, what do you use? I used to always use vegetable oil or olive oil. But I saw a naturopath last year and she said to never use olive oil because it's carcinogenic at high heat. I had no idea. Um, so she suggests butter to fry eggs in. Uh, what do you use? I think I saw in some of your recipes um, to use coconut oil. So I've mostly been using that to cook eggs, chicken, um, saute veggies in, etc. What do you suggest? So for that, I keep it simple and I've got a bottle of olive oil and I've got a jar of coconut oil are the main things I use. Um, I do fine with butter, so I, I use that. So um, people with dairy intolerances, some of you will find you do fine with butter, some don't. Um, it has got just very little uh, milk protein or um, the milk, yeah, milk protein in it. It's mostly fat. Um, so I think that's the reason why, because the fat I'm, I'm fine with, it's usually the protein um, or the milk sugars that were that we're intolerant to, so there's very little of that. Um, if you can't do butter, you can also do ghee, which is just the the fat part of the butter. Um, the protein and sugar part is, is pretty much um, skimmed off. So those three things, butter um, or ghee, coconut oil, olive oil. Um, avocado oil is another great thing, but I just keep it simple, keep it cheaper, I just have those things. So olive oil, um, I use for dressings or anything where the food is already cooked and I drizzle it on. So even if I did rice or if I did um, steamed broccoli or something like that or a salad, I would just drizzle on olive oil, salt and pepper. Um, so I generally don't use it for cooking. Um, I've heard recently that um, olive oil is okay at low to medium temperatures. If you cook it at uh, medium high or high temperatures, it becomes... Um, it becomes rancid or it, it gets broken down and it can cause free radical damage in the body. Um, so there's like antioxidants, free radicals, antioxidants, free radicals sort of oxidize things, antioxidants like berries and things like that. Um, maybe I won't dive too much into that, but um, so that's not good. If And canola oil, vegetable oils are so highly processed 
that they are just a bottle of free radicals pretty much. So that's why now um, so many people are discovering that they are so bad for you. There still is that whole agenda of heart healthy and all that, but it's there's so many um, studies have come out that, so I, I don't use that at all. Um, I did mention to her too that if I'm at a restaurant, the dressing uses canola oil, or if I'm at a family member's house and they use canola oil, um, I'm not too worried. It's more so um, like on a daily basis or weekly basis that it can can be um, more harmful. So keep it simple with those few things. Um, for sauteing, I often, or even like frying up chicken or vegetables, I'll do um, like a teaspoon, a teaspoon anywhere up to a tablespoon of um, coconut oil. So I like coconut oil. You can bake with it too. If I'm doing like home fries, I'll warm up um, coconut oil in the microwave and then I drizzle it on my potatoes or sweet potatoes and toss it in there. And that works really well when you're cooking something at like 400 degrees or even higher, or even 350. So hopefully that helps with that. Um, another question. I try to use almond milk in moderation. There are some ingredients in most that could be questionable, especially if it's consumed multiple. Oh no, that's my answer. Where's her question? Uh, for almond milk and smoothies, what do you use? I usually buy the cartons from the shelf. Are those um, clean? Are they real? I bought the jug from the cooler, but those are mostly more costly, uh, worth it. So almond milk, I buy almond milk as well. It's, I don't think it's actually like doing my body a whole lot of good to, um, drink that almond milk from the carton. Um, if you look at the ingredients, there are some, some of them have carrageenan, which is not great. Um, some of them I've seen have canola oil. So those ones I try not to buy at all. Some of them aren't the worst thing, um, especially in moderation, but generally they have very little almonds in them. It's mostly water and some additives. Um, with that said, we still do consume, um, I consume at least a glass of it in a smoothie or in something else each day. Um, I'm not super concerned about it. Um, if you have the time, ideally I would make my own almond milk. Um, actually yesterday I made my own, own hemp milk because I was trying out a, a yogurt recipe. And all you had to do is in your blender, um, for that one it was four cups of filtered water, half a cup of hemp seeds, um, dump that into a blender, blend it up. You can add in, so that's all I did for that, blended it up. And then it it pulver, pulverized it so much I didn't have to strain it. Normally with those things you would strain, either get a cheesecloth or really find a fine mesh strainer and strain out any any thicker bits. This one, um, it, it pulvered, pulverized it pretty good so I didn't worry about it. You can also add um, some sweetness, a teeny bit of sweetness to it with dates, especially if you're gonna strain it out. Um, throw a couple dates in there. You can throw in a little bit of vanilla and it's actually really tasty. So ideally I do that, but I just, I find I don't have the time to do that. Um, so I don't do that. Actually, I'm just gonna, I'm chatting so much and I should just make sure um, this is actually working. Usually I do that right away, that you guys can hear me and everything. So, cause I don't think, I can't see if anybody is on. So hopefully I'm not talking to myself here. Um, so yeah. I, I don't stress about it too much, um, but I try to, um, I try not to eat, consume a whole lot of it. In smoothies, you can do, sometimes I'll do, sometimes I'll do all almond milk for my liquid. Sometimes I do almond milk and then half water. You can even try just doing water in your smoothies and often you don't notice um, a difference. So I'm just gonna make sure what's actually working. Okay, so um, the other question with that. Um, when trying to be budget friendly, what do you recommend for importance of organic process or produce, um, organic vegetables and fruits? I currently don't buy anything organic unless in the rare case it's cheaper than regular produce. Do you stick with the dirty dozen recommendations? So I'm the same way. Ideally, I would buy um, everything on the Dirty Dozen. I would buy a lot of stuff organic, um, especially the things on the Dirty Dozen list. The Dirty Dozen list, if you're not sure, it's um, the Environmental Working Group um, creates a list of the top um, most pesticide-laden, um, most sprayed um, fruits and vegetables that we should avoid. So um, I don't have that up right now, but I do know 
apples are one, celery is one, strawberries one, spinach, um, potatoes, grapes. Um, those are the a few that I kind of watch for. So you can go to um, you can Google it, Dirty Dozen. You can go to ewg.com and find it there. Um, so personally, I um, we're on a budget as well. Um, sometimes the organic stuff is just like grapes. I'll look at the organic stuff and it's been sitting because it doesn't people don't buy it as often. It's been sitting there a little bit longer. So I think okay, these grapes are fresher. These grapes have been sitting there longer. So even though these have some uh, are not organic, um, these are fresher. So um, maybe more nutrient value in them. So that's part of it too. Um, and just the cost too. So I'm hoping um, it seems like it's going to get cheaper and cheaper. More and more people are, are eating healthier, eating more organic. It should get cheaper. Um, but uh, potatoes... Uh, especially at uh, in the past month um, when there's lots of far gardens and farmers um, I try to get my potatoes organic so that's one thing I try to get organic more often apples is another thing I would love to get organic I don't always um, strawberries like I said so do what you can if you can't get organic you are still doing your body a lot of good even if it's not organic eating a lot of fruits and vegetables another thing you can do which i occasionally do i used to do this all the time i'd get home from the grocery store and i would kind of before i put everything away i would sort of like wash and chop things right then and that helped a lot so um and that would be my routine and i would fill up the sink i would have a clean sink or you can just do a really big bowl or basin fill that up with water Add in probably about a half a cup to a cup of vinegar and a sprinkle, I would say probably a teaspoon to a tablespoon of um, uh, baking soda and put that in your water. Put all of your fruits and vegetables, um, I probably would usually do a couple batches, you could throw it all in there and let it soak so it's like a, it's a vegetable fruit soak and you let it soak for 10 minutes. And I'm not sure how much, I haven't dove into the research, how much pesticides it's actually removing, but it does um, get it a lot cleaner. It does take any sort of like mold or anything off of there. Um, you'll notice your strawberries stay fresher longer. I know there are, I think Tiber River has um, a produce wash, um, so those things work as well. But that's something that can help as well if you're buying non-organic um, stuff, you can, you can do that. Okay, another question. Um, Somebody had just recently asked, best multivitamin, um, and also I'm going to answer, some people say, or wonder, do I even need a multivitamin? So I'm going to give you my honest answer with this. Um, so I was actually in the health food store. If you watch my Insta stories, you would have seen I took videos of it. Um, so I'll touch on that here as well. So multivitamins, if you are, so first, do you actually need a multivitamin? Um, I haven't always taken multivitamins. Um, it's really important to take a multivitamin if you are pregnant, especially you want to get um, folic acid um, in there. Um, if you are um, postpartum, so if you just had a baby, um, that takes a lot, that depletes our nutrients a lot. So um, fish oil is another thing that we really, we really get depleted of um, omega-3. So if you can get natural sources of omega-3, that's even better by eating fish. Um, uh, like salmon sardines, but that's that can be tricky. So um, So you want to really replenish your vitamin stores if you have had a baby um, If your babies are two years apart or less um, I remember reading once I think it was two years generally It takes a couple of years for your body after having a baby to replenish all its nutrient stores um, Everybody's different of course, but that's on average. So if you've had if you've got even if you've got one baby, you want to try to really, really eat clean to get those nutrients back in. Maybe take a multivitamin to help with that. Um, if you've had a couple babies that are a couple years apart, if you've had three, if you've had four, um, then you really want to work on replenishing those nutrient stores um, through really clean eating, lots of fruits and vegetables, and probably through a multivitamin. So, um, so otherwise, I haven't always taking a multivitamin if you're eating really clean uh, you could be okay um, and also you 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 absorb nutrients a lot better through food so there's 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 always different studies coming out actually just right now uh, there was a study coming out saying um, that we that vitamin D isn't really that effective um, 
you can't always I I had didn't dive into the study to see how how it was actually done but I do know um, or not that I do know but I do know that you get um, so say you need vitamin C you can get a lot more your body will absorb a lot more vitamin C if you're eating red peppers or you're eating oranges or or lemon juice things like that versus taking a vitamin C supplement um, depending on the dosage but your body absorbs it a lot better when it's coming from its natural state so um, whole foods is best um, so if you're that's the best way to get your vitamins next best would be a whole foods based supplement um, so it's uh, something like Samara and there's another one too I'm gonna mention that's that's a good one so it's actually made from it's not synthetic vitamins it's actually in the ingredients it's apple carrot kale beets spinach broccoli green cabbage parsley so this is um, sort of dried and broken down into a powder so this probably is not as absorbable as if you were take you were eating apples carrots kale all that but this is the next best thing um, third best is the the synthetic vitamins so um, it's questionable how how well those actually absorb into your body um, but uh, that probably is still helpful so um, with all that being said my top recommendations and I consulted the girls at the health food store um, anybody most people that work at health food stores are super knowledgeable if you're looking for certain supplements they are great to ask um, so I consulted um, a few of them asked what their opinion was for for best ones uh, one was actually the top one was garden of life my kind organics so it's whole food based so similar to this but it's in a capsule um, really clean ingredients uh, this one is a good one too um, it also has a probiotic in it and then a third one is Vitex source optimum um, is another top recommended multivitamin um, so oh well another thing too if you need um, a multivitamin is if you have a stressful lifestyle so whether that is family stress whether that's work stress whether it's money stress and a lot of us with young kids um, it's hard not to have a stressful lifestyle, um, especially with multiple kids, even one kid. Um, so that can deplete your nutrient stores as well. Um, I think I touched on the other stuff. Um, so my top recommendations for supplements are actually a vitamin D in the winter. Even though there is conflicting reports, I think that their study used um, only 1,000 to 2,000 IUs um, over um, a short period of time. Um, and they didn't combine it with vitamin K2 so I personally make sure I take in the winter vitamin D I take about 4,000 4 to 6,000 I use a day um, the general recommendation is a thousand and maybe that's why they're not finding that there's really a significant change um, in cancer or heart disease with with just um, that small amount and then vitamin K2 actually helps it to be more effective they work um, together really well um, and then I also take an omega-3 um, and my kids take that as well because they're not we don't consume a whole lot of salmon or sardines um, and it's important for kids to get that healthy fat as well so um, okay another question was um, that I recently got was my son just um, had to go on a round of antibiotics um, I don't have it up here so I'll just remember what she asked uh, my son has just gone on around to have antibiotics. Do you recommend I take, put him on probiotics? And that is such a good question. A lot of people don't realize that um, that after antibiotics, um, it's so important to to get on probiotics. Antibiotics will kill the bad bacteria um, that you want to kill, but it also will kill a lot of that good bacteria. So often, a lot of us have candida overgrowth, an overgrowth of bad bacteria, whether it's candida or another one. Um, and often there's a few different reasons for that often it can be um, the antibiotic use either recently or in the past years ago um, so when you kill when you take antibiotics often those um, candida or other um, pathogenic bacteria are will take advantage and they will they will take over um, so it's kind of like a clean slate and some of those survive and then they take over and that can cause so many health issues so if you do have to take antibiotics um, wait um, if you're taking probiotics at the same time I think you're you might be wasting your money a little bit because you take probiotics then the antibiotics kill those off so wait till you're done that round of antibiotics and get on a fairly high dose go to a health food store ask them their recommendations 
um, a fairly high dose multi-strain probiotic. So whether that's for your kids or for, for yourself, generally there's different ones, different strains that are better for kids. So ask about that. Um, but yeah, and also with antibiotics, they, they are life-saving. They're so important, but I know that we can, they are over-prescribed. Um, so sometimes, um, saying no to antibiotic can be so dangerous. So you want to listen to your doctor. Sometimes, um, doctors will just say like, if it's some sort of maybe, uh, maybe an ear infection or maybe for myself, I had mastitis. Some doctors might say, okay, get on this, anti these antibiotics. I, when I had mastitis, I had a really good doctor at that point. I was like, can you get me, can you give me a prescription for antibiotics? Cause that's, I didn't realize at the, that point, um, how, harmful they can be especially if they aren't necessary and so he said well I really don't think you need this I'll give you I'll write this prescription but give it a while see how your body naturally does he gave me some suggestions on what to do and he said just then only then um, fill this prescription most doctors will just say okay um, what I've seen I shouldn't generalize but here's your here's your prescription so same with your kids um, if somebody is just, you know, they're so rushed, they're so busy. Um, if they're just giving you a prescription of antibiotics, you could say like, I'm, I'm hesitant to take this. Is it, is it really important? Is there any tests we can do first to make sure sometimes doctors, um, they won't even know if it's viral or bacterial. So you only need antibiotics if it's bacterial, if it's viral, they're not doing any do it good. They're actually harming your body. So, um, maybe you can take it to that next step and say, can, can we confirm that it's this? So I don't know. Sometimes, um, it is very important um, and you do need to listen to your doctor. So um, yeah, I just wanted to, to mention a little bit of that there. How long have we been going? Okay. Also, I hope you guys are enjoying this content. I love to know. That's partly why I like to get questions, know what you're wondering about um, so that I know that uh, what you want me to talk about. So I think that was mainly the questions that I've recently had. Um, if you want me to elaborate on any of that, just post below um, or uh, private message me. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? So today's giveaway. Okay, I'll talk a little bit about our new focus. So right now in the membership, um, I've added the first part of our new focus. So November, um, I want to talk about sleep. So Sleep is something that a lot of us brush off. If you are um, feeling tired, if you have sugar cravings, carb cravings, if you're just not feeling great, if you're finding it really hard to, to make a change in your diet and like just those cravings get out of control, uh, if you have moodiness, then sleep is one of the number one things to look at. So that is, that's not to be brushed off. Like that's so important. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. I personally, I'm kind of like a grandma right now, especially when it gets dark so early. I get my kids to bed. Ideally, they're in bed at like 8.30 sometimes by the time my last kid gets to bed and they've had their water and they've gone pee and all that. It's like 9 or 9.30. So I generally, you know, we turn out the lights um, and then I generally will like get a book or I'll get my podcast and I'll go and lay in bed and often I fall asleep like right away. So. Like I said, I'm kind of like a grandma, but that works so well for me. So um, I get to bed early. You know, a lot of us might want to, might say like, okay, that's that's my only time to myself. I want to just like watch Netflix. And I've done that before and I still do that sometimes. Uh, and it's important to, you know, have that time. But I find that it's huge getting to bed earlier. Um, then I don't, you know, when you're up for that time, generally we want to eat foods that aren't, really that healthy for us. So for myself, I just want to eat carbs. And I think that's a bit of a signal of my body. When you're tired, your body naturally um, craves carbs to kind of get that serotonin boost and to get your, you to force you to like get sleepy. So if you find that you got, have all those cravings, your body's telling you to get to sleep. So um, since going uh, doing that, I'm able to eat a lot better. I don't have those. Uh, I don't binge on chocolate or, or chips or crackers or cereal or whatever. Um, so that, that, there's that. And then I'm able to, um, I naturally wake up. This is, it can take a little bit of time if you're not used to going to bed early. I naturally wake up at sometimes five, usually around six, sometimes five, five thirty, And then that morning time, 
is huge. So this is going to be the second part of our November focus. Um, that morning time to myself. So even if you just had before the kids wake up or before you have to start getting ready for work, often we set our alarm. Um, we'll hit the snooze a few times and it's like, oh, I got to go. And then it's just your day um, just um, takes over, right? Like you're busy. You have to get ready. I got to do this. got to get the kids ready for school. If you start your day with that different mindset, with that shift, with that time to yourself, even if it's as little as 15 minutes, um, up to an hour is awesome. That time to yourself. And I'll, I'll share with you in the coming weeks, my routine, what I do, my nighttime routine, routine, my morning routine. Um, and I mentioned before that this has been, this has changed a lot in my life. I started doing the getting up early, having that time to myself with my cup of coffee, um, and doing my morning routine. Um, I started doing that when we moved to Niverville, that was Ashton was just under two and I made so many changes. Um, I didn't realize that at that point that it was a, probably a big reason was because I had that time to myself. I had that time to think. Um, I had that time to like think about my goals, what changes I wanted to make. Um, so I got happier when I do that. I'm happier partly because of the routines I do. Um, when the kids wake up, when I'm ready to start my day, I'm in such a better mood versus just scrambling, you know, to get everything done. Um, so yeah, I started that then I, that's actually when I decided to, that I, I started to look into nutrition school, started to like sort of follow my heart with what I wanted to do. I actually thought, okay, I want to start a blog. I thought, okay, that'll be fun. Um, so I started so many things. So, um, with you guys in the membership, often a lot of you are making changes. Um, you want to try eating different. You want to try following a meal plan. You want to try cutting out dairy. And I've heard from a lot of you too that you struggle with, you know, there's all these resources and it's awesome and you love it, but you just don't, you just haven't had a chance to like dive into the meal plans. And this is, if you are resonating with that at all, then having this time in the morning, you can do this time at night, but I find it's just not the same. We're more clear headed. There's something about that morning time. Um, just to think and just to look at stuff, just to plan out your day. I've got an entire protocol um, that you can follow that I'll share with you. But the general idea is just having that time. Um, if you want to make any changes in your life, that's so important. Um, and I'm going to dive more into that uh, in, in following videos. Um, but yeah, so that's part of our focus. Number one is sleep. So I didn't want to, this whole morning thing has changed my life. It's a little bit different from what our normal monthly focuses are in the membership. Usually it's about, you know, um, healthy lunch boxes, how to sort of live this clean life, um, in a simpler way. Um, this one's a little bit different, but it's going to really help you. Um, if you are wanting to clean up your diet, get healthier, make some changes. Um, so it's a little bit different, but it's something that I can talk for hours about and um, that I'm passionate about. So I wanted that to be the focus was to help you guys with a better morning routine, um, help you to really make these changes and have some tools in place. But I also don't want you to wake up earlier and have a, a half hour less of sleep or an hour less of sleep because I know sleep is so important. If I um, don't get enough sleep at night, the next day I am eating so many carbs um, I'm grouchier, I'm moodier, uh, moody with my kids, and there's no way I'm going to eat um, smoothies and salads and things like that. So that's why it's like a two-part series, uh, making sure you're getting enough sleep. If you already are getting enough sleep and you are finding you're following meal plans really well, then you're probably doing good, but most of us aren't. don't follow into that category. One little thing I'll mention is some of you, maybe a lot of you, have kids, um, babies, kids under a year, um, you've got babies that aren't sleeping through the night, you're getting up multiple times a night with them. Uh, in that case, and for myself, when Easton was under a year old, getting up lots in the night, I didn't stress about getting up early um, and getting my, my morning time before the kids. I let myself sleep in as long as my body needed to sleep in um, or until my kids woke me up. Um, so sleep is top priority. If you are struggling right now, then I don't want you to set your alarm for five o'clock and, um, and then just be so tired. Um, but one, one thing when I was on my walk today, I actually sort of put, um, sort of two and two together. Um, I don't know if this is exactly related, but, um, in that normally I'm, I'm excited, you know, like I'm normally a fairly happy person. Um, I get excited about things. 
um, when Easton, in, in his first year or year and a half of life, um, I can remember, and it was mainly, it was just probably, it might've been the winter too. So the winter can affect our mood. I remember, and I really noticed it. I remember actually one particular incident, um, before I would go, when I just had Ashton, we'd go shopping in Winnipeg and it would be kind of like a half a day or a, almost a full day. You know, when you do your groceries, you maybe have to make another stop and you head home. I usually I'd pick up a cup of coffee, I'd listen to a podcast, drive home. And I would just get so like, um, I was just like loving life, you know, in my routine and all that. And I remember when, uh, one winter, it might've been gone for longer than that. I was never like depressed or anything, but I just remember, I just didn't have that like, um, excitement for life or anything. It was just kind of like, you know, just, and I think a lot of people are like this where it's just, it's hard to describe it. It's like a funk, right? You're kind of stuck in a funk, like sort of a funky mood where it's just, you know, like if a good song, song comes on, you're just kind of like, like not a whole lot of emotion. So I was never really depressed, but I was kind of like that. So it's probably partly that, um, you know, my, my Omega, I was shortened Omega three and my nutrient stores, um, were too low from having a baby and having the stress of all that, probably partly because of winter, not having as much sunlight, but it might have also been that that was the point in my life where I wasn't um, having that time to myself in the morning. You know, I would go to bed with the kids because he was waking up so much. I would go to bed with the kids um, and then I'd wake up with them and then throughout the day, hopefully he'd have a nap, but then usually I had my older kid, she'd be up. Um, so we never had a break. So um, that, we need that break. So a lot of you have, have young kids. You might be noticing that, that you're just from morning to night, you just are going, your mind doesn't have time to like calm down. Even if you do have a few minutes to calm down, if you're like me, you would sit and you would scroll Facebook or you'd put on a show. And even then you don't really have that time. That's not recharging you. It's kind of numbing out. It's not really recharging you. So that's why, um, I love the, the morning routine. So I'm going to be sharing more about that. Um, I'm going to try to take you through, um, I'll be insta storing it to a little bit. I might even share, um, these next few weeks. I might share it with our main community, all of the resources and all of the focus resources are in our, always in our membership. So that's, um, a perk for the, the membership members. Um, but I might actually share this with the entire mom recharge community, um, this month. So, um, yeah. If you're on Instagram, follow my Insta stories. I'll be sharing more about that. I'm gonna share um, particularly in this membership group and through email for those that, that aren't on Facebook. Um, I'll be sharing uh, my night routine, my morning routine and different tips. So you can go right now to the November focus, um, either to the monthly section, scroll to the bottom or to the, to the focus, monthly focus and um, click on it and I've got a video on there about sleep, why it's important, why it affects different things in our body and different tips and, and tricks for that. So um, I think that was about it for that. Now I'll talk about the, the giveaway. I'll mention the, the giveaway winner that I drew for. Um, first, I will just make sure I covered everything. Um, again, if you missed the start, um, I've got a special offer. So if you guys are planning on being in the membership for longer than a couple months, um, if you aren't in the method already, our four week program that we do in January, which is, you know, that's when we are so excited to make changes. Um, our method program has seen so many, so many changes, uh, gotten such great results. Uh, maybe I'll link the, um, the information page on here as well. So, um, I'm going to be sharing this a lot more with, um, the entire community, um, as a black Friday deal. The price is going to be going up, uh, I think on, is it November 26th? It's going to be going up quite a bit for, I think at least $60. I haven't finalized the price, um, for the one year subscription. So you can save a lot of money, um, by, um, joining the membership for a year you get in that, you get the cleanse, um, and you get, now you get the four week program, the mummer charge method. So normally i should um increase the price if i'm including our four week program in there i should increase that a lot i wanted before increasing that i wanted to give you guys an opportunity to join on for the year so we've got a lot of fun things coming up uh, monthly giveaways in january we've got the method program which is really going to help to guide you um and in monthly focuses going forward actually right like january i think it'll be january 1st I've got a really neat goal setting, um, dream board type thing, um, for us. 
and then after that probably once kids go back to school we'll do we'll start the four week program i have to get all those dates figured out still um and then so you'll i run that twice a year so if you're in the yearly subscription um it's 120 dollars right now to join on for the year it's going to increase um, by quite a bit right away so you get the the method program we run twice a year so we run it in january we also run it in uh may we're going to be running it um to kind of get ready for summer again and then the cleanse we run every spring and fall um and then with the new the new meal plans i'm looking at uh in the new year um adding in some more things making some changes in the membership um, I'm gonna consult you guys and see see what you're wanting. I there's I mentioned this before. There's a possibility of doing a um, included. Um, I'll draw one person each month and do a wellness consultation, so a private wellness consultation. But then from that, and you would get a protocol and everything. We would dive deep into all your different symptoms. Um, this is what I'm trained to do as a registered holistic nutritionist: is these wellness consultations. So I think it would be really fun if I can help one person a month with that. Um, I then would keep your name anonymous and I would share, I would talk about um, what what recommendations were in place as long as you were okay with that. I would share with that with the entire membership so that um, a lot of people often have similar issues. So then those recommendations, you'll learn from that as well. So um, I'm really looking into doing that. I'm curious if that's something that you guys would love. So that would be in the, at some point in the new year. So. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm really excited for the membership. This is gonna be our number one focus and that's kind of why I'm combining a lot of things into the membership um, And I really want it to be something that you have um, so many programs are you Do a four-week program or you do a whole 30 um, And then you're kind of on your own. So I want this to be in a community that you have, you know constantly um, you've got these programs in there, but then you've got there's resources, the meal, new meal plans, the new, new ebooks, and things like that. So um, I don't want to talk a whole lot about that because I'll be sharing more um, in the coming weeks uh, for our Black Friday sale and all that. There are some of you that are coming up on your on your month end where if you're in the monthly um, subscription, you'll be um, build um, it's an automatic renewal each month so if you want to do that do that before your automatic renewal so I think that's about it um, I've talked for about 45 minutes um, you know what if you guys have more questions uh, at some point maybe even in the new year uh, yeah probably in the new year I could probably do these more regularly um, if you if you like say it was every We'll have to see even every couple of weeks starting out right now it's it's not feasible to come on here every week and do a live but that would be neat to if we if you knew that every wednesday at um or every thursday at 10 o'clock um that we could sort of i could be on here and answer questions i wonder if that would be helpful especially as our membership grows so that's those are just some things that i have on my mind for for going forward but uh, yeah i just kind of want to hear what you guys are liking what you're struggling with how I can make this membership work more for you um, so that you can make those changes. You can eat better. You can make it um, so you're not feeling deprived. Make it doable in your busy life. Fit it into your lifestyle. So anytime you have suggestions, let me know. And I, oh, did I mention? No, I didn't mention who won the giveaway. So again, we've got our sort of snack sample gift pack. We've got the Samara month supply kids and teens formula, which is also great for moms. And then we've got our chromium supplement. If you are struggling with uh, insulin issues or sugar cravings, this will help you get through that. So you get to choose, the winner gets to choose. And our winner is uh, Marion, Marion Hebert. So I don't think she's on Facebook, so she'll see this in the recording. Um, so congratulations. Uh, Marion, uh, hopefully you enjoy that. You get to pick, so I'll be I'll be contacting you about that. Um, if you didn't win, we still have a fairly small group, so next month um, your chances are pretty big. Uh, recent winners within the last couple months, generally I'll uh, I don't want people to win month after month, so generally I would not include that name. Uh, and if it, if you just won like a month ago, um, so yeah, watch for the next month. And I'm gonna each month I'm gonna have different um, supplement options, different things to choose from. So hopefully you guys are enjoying everything. I'd love feedback. I'd love to know. Um, so have a good day, guys. I will talk to you later.